Let's see. Phone do right on Friday. Man, I, I don't know if I can do that, guys. I would really, really like to, though. I think that, I think, honestly, I think that I need to be ready for it. I mean, maybe I will. Maybe I will. But also, like, if I'm going to do something like that, y'all better know the words, man. Like, I'm not performing that if you let the boy down. What's your skin routine? Um, I use... Uh, you know what? I'll do this a different time if I'm on a live again because it's the bathroom's downstairs. Um, but I use this thing on my fa I use this. I put this thing on this uh, this Ferreo face. Uh, what do you call it? I don't. I don't know, man. It's like a toothbrush for your face. <laughs> and I put it on there, and it really gets all the like the the clean stuff in it. <laughs> Ooh, good question. Good question. Is it weird if a band starts a convo during a meet and greet? Like, I've always wondered if that was loud or if you have to just say hi and go. I was too scared to talk and get yelled at. This is a good question because I feel like even sometimes I'm like, it's weird because we're not the ones who are necessarily running these meet and greets, you know? So for us, I know for me, man, like whenever y'all say something to me during a meet and greet like I really appreciate that and I'm I think that that takes when it takes courage and it's like it's like damn like there's you know I would be nervous as hell like going up to one of someone who I looked up to and you know saying something to them about how they impacted my life or whatever it is or if they liked a video or what like whatever the case may be um it's definitely not weird. I just think that if you're going to do it, just keep in mind that there's going to be people who are, like, trying to, like, move you along or, like, whatever it is. But right now, I think that with our meet and greets, we're trying more and more to give people an opportunity to just have a candid conversation with us and make sure we go and talk to a group of people afterwards. Instead of just taking a picture and saying bye. Yeah. Wait, how do I take this off? X. X. Whatever. Oh, bro, my phone's tweaking. <laughs> my phone's tweaking, man. Uh, do you think that because you're in this... Bro, what do you mean? You're trying to get me caught up out here. Do you think just because you're a musician, that you're somewhere greater than someone who isn't, do you treat people as equals like you should? Well, you're kind of giving me a, a closed question right there because you're only allowing me to say one thing. But my actual response to that is, of course, I don't consider myself greater. I think that everyone's on this earth to do great things and just because it's not what you're not what I'm doing does not mean it's less significant. What are the most compelling things that have been said to you by fans? Um and I just think that Hmm. It's it's just really nice when somebody I think like I like to know when something I said or something I did affected them and why. Like those thing those things like when people really know um when people really understand what I'm saying or they really like take the time to like I don't know like if they if they like like one of my remixes or like they think I'm a good rapper or something, they tell me about oh I love like this line or like like when you did this or should you should do more of these. Like I love having those conversations. I love I love feedback. 
Like, if you guys, like, ever... Man. I want to go on tour, bro. I want to go on tour so bad. Tell a random story about something that made you happy. I could probably do that. Oh, um, true happiness. Or, when was I happy, man? Oh, you know it was that. You know, there was this one day I had, and it was actually the day that I posted um on my my most recent picture that day. It was a pretty happy day. It was just like, it was good energy, good conversations, like, laughing the whole day, like, cracking jokes, and just like pure human, human shit. No side, like, no al- alternate, alternative, like, um, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, no weird shit. Like, just, like, genuine shit. Because I feel like in L.A. particularly, a lot of a lot of it's just like, oh, we need to get this done, or we need to do this, or we need to talk to this person to do this. But it was just like, we were just kicking and having fun. I'm extremely grateful that I got to talk to you for like a good 15 minutes in Boston. I know I still don't remember me if I'm honest. But it meant a lot to be able to feel like we were friends. Did, were you one of the people who was, wa- who I was trying to find my beanie? And you were one of the, you were one of the people like walking with me? Cause that was cool. Would you or anyone else in the band actually date a fan? You're, I mean, here's the thing, like, yeah, we would, but it's like, Obviously, it takes a. It's it's not really about being a fan. It's about being a person. Um, and a lot of, I mean, there it's it's hard because there's a. There's a weird. Uh, I don't know. Like if you're a fan. Like there's probably a lot of trust that has to go into that because, you would have never want. You know, like I feel like that would I think like trust would probably be the biggest thing in that. Like, if you can't trust this person who's a fan of you, you know, then that, that's kind of weird. Do you actually read letters that you're given? Yes, I read literally all of them. As soon as I get them, I just, I take them either on, I put them in my backpack, whatever the case may be, I read every single one, I promise. I've read all of them. Well, sometimes I don't know how to, like, reply to them, because sometimes, like, honestly, I just want to read them, and I I look at them, and I appreciate them. But I, I don't think that... I, if I was to write a letter to one of my inspirations, like I wouldn't necessarily do it so I could get a response or so I could get something. I would do it to let them know. And I guess, like I, I appreciate the letters that are like telling me all the stuff that I helped with, and it's like for sure leave like leave your Instagram name, like leave all like leave your name or whatever. But. Uh, it, I don't really it's it's just a lot more it's a lot more authentic and it just it's just more it's just dope that way you know I don't resp- I, I to be honest I haven't responded to any letters but what I do sometimes is like I'll I'll take the time to like go to that person's page and like comment something on one of their pictures or like like their pictures at least is what I try to do 
you remember the talks you had with fans in person? Yeah, definitely, for sure. I I have a lot of great talks with you guys. I mean, particularly just in the places where, you know, like I know you guys, uh, like places like New York or like really anywhere where we're staying in a hotel for a long period of time, like y'all will be in the lobby. And I think that when, when we can actually have some nice genuine conversation with you guys like we appreciate that yes I do somewhere you've never been but you're wanting to go Europe <laughs> <laughs> Um. Oh yeah, and I get to see some of y'all here in Orlando. I love the Orlando fans. You guys are the best, man. Like, like so many of you guys came to um, my when I did that Christmas show in Cleveland. Like that was like everybody who showed up to that. Like, thank you so much, man. Like that shit meant so fucking much to me. By the way, this is my favorite hoodie right now. <laughs> you know if you can tell, I always wear it. It's my go-to. Favorite lyric you've ever written? And, uh... I think Do or Die has a lot of those. He said... He said my dreams were crazy. Well, good thing I'm insane enough. I like that one. Oh, uh, I ain't special. I just know I'm not created the same. When I when I when I wrote that, that was one of the ones where I was like, this. It's a weird thing that happens with me. Like when I write, I feel like sometimes I'm not really thinking about what I'm saying at all. Like when I'm writing and saying words and coming up with lines like that, it's like. I wish I could say that I had some sort of formula to it, but I, it just kind of happens, and sometimes even I'll re-listen, and it'll make sense in a way that's deeper than what I originally intended it to do, and I'm like, damn, like, it's kind of crazy, like, but I think that, yeah, that line, um... That's why I'm playing when I say this shit is do or die. This is more than just a hobby. This is keeping me alive. Oh, there's the one there's like, and lucky you, uh, they want a piece of the pie. I gave them a slice, and now we got beef over cheddar. Oh, it's hard. Hard. Um. Oh, yeah, I got a minute 26 left. Favorite song right now? Damn. Honestly, there's one that's. This song played in the car yesterday, and it's one of those songs where you, I've heard it before, but I never, like, really listened to it. It was a La 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 by Y something. Yeah, that's how it goes. 54 seconds. You're so good with lyrics. It's crazy. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Do you remember wearing Krispy Kreme hats to a meet and greet? Definitely. I remember that. You, you like, put it on all our heads? My brother's been working on his hair after you get it. That's fire. 25 seconds. Have you seen NF when he goes on tour? I probably will, man. Got a lot of respect for that guy. And I just got hit to him too, which is crazy. Like a lot of